Hello guys, Jim Wilson back with another video of SolidWorks 2020 and in this video I will show you how to use swept boss base feature in SolidWorks. So let's get started. So let me tell you the basic foundation of swept cut or sweep cut. Sorry, sweep boss. So what it does is just like in the previous video I showed how to use sweep cut. Basically you try to cut away. In this, you are trying to add a particular profile that you wish to. So let's say I go on any plane. In this case, I'm just choosing right plane. I make any particular profile, let's say a three point arc, something like that. All right. And then I want to make a rectangle that follows this particular path. If I simply go to feature and click on it, let's see what exactly it's looking for. Either it looks for a circular profile which I already have right and it's asking for a path which I can choose as this one and I can increase the diameter and I can have this particular diameter and it becomes a feature so this is one so this particular feature is circular profile where you just need a path and you can define the diameter and you can make a circle the other one is sketch profile itself for a sketch profile, what you do is, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to use the same path. Let's say I have to make another sketch with which can possibly follow this path. So to make sure, what I personally prefer is to have a tangent plane always to the path itself. So I'm going to use this path as a reference. And I'm going to use the point where the curve ends as another reference. And which is going to give me a tangent plane with respect to the path. And it's always going to work. There is going to be no issue using this particular profile. I go on sketch. I'm going to make a sketch on this path. I'm just going to make a simple rectangle. So a simple center rectangle is good enough. I'm just going to use anything, any random dimensions if you want to. It's just an example I'm trying to give just to showcase how it works. I will go back to feature, click on swept boss. I already have the profile. You can see it's already selected. If it's not selected, you can, I can show you. If it's not selected, you simply click on it and it will select the profile. And then you choose the path as well. You click on path and now you can see. There you have it. So you can do the same thing. So now if I want to change the shape of this particular thing, I all I need to do is simply play with the sketch itself. So the sketch, which is the path, if I change that, you can see, I can also change the particular feature in solid state as well. So that is a very good feature to know. So that's pretty much it in, in this particular video. I just wanted to cover a little bit basic of swept, boss and base. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.